Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeley here. Welcome to another Weather School Bites. Now, one of the questions that I get asked an awful lot is about fronts, what they are, how they're forming, etc. And today we've got a classic example of a warm front coming into the country. Let me show you the uh, chart. This is from the Met Office. It's the analysis chart for midday today. In fact, we can zoom in a little bit closer on that chart. There we go. Notice that warm front that's uh, coming through southwest Ireland in towards southwest England. We know it's warm because it's got the semi-circles on it. That's all moving its way eastwards. Now, look at the radar, look at the satellite. The radar showing rain coming into the west the satellite showing a cloud increasing from the west as well all associated with that warm front so the question is what is a warm front well it's really simple i know that the textbooks make it sound really really tricky and difficult but actually it's really simple let me draw you a quick diagram as to exactly what's going on with the uh, with the warm front well ahead of it in this area here we've basically got cooler air so in here ahead of that warm front we've got cool air now we've got warm air behind it and what happens is that warm air comes up against the cool air now cool air is more dense than warm air so what happens is as soon as this less dense warm air hits the cool air it gets forced to rise upwards across the top of the cooler air now it will warm these fringes of the cool air but still that warm air is getting forced to rise and that forcing to rise causes the air to cool and condense so the moisture vapor that's within it condenses out and what happens is it forms cloud and it's that that causes the rain so all the warm front is is this warmer air here moving up against the cooler air in here being forced to rise and it's that that causes the cloud and rain now as meteorologists we look for a certain cloud sequence and a certain uh, temperature and pressure sequence associated with those fronts but essentially that's all they are that's all that you have to remember and we cover this loads on our weather school courses go and have a look at weatherschool.co.uk also um you can buy my book i'll explain more about it in there that's the pocket weather forecaster book and uh, you can get that from weatherschool.co.uk and in there we've got loads of pictures of clouds and the weather that they bring it's a coffee table book it's a real pick up and read book and you see a cloud you pick that up you identify the cloud it tells you what the weather's going to do and of course i've got my weatherwise dvd as well and that has lots of uh, videos on it lasting for over two hours but the videos are in little five minute segments and they easily explain the concepts of weather including fronts including loads of more information as well and of course you can follow us on social media too they're all the social media channels at wxweb at weather school on twitter we're on instagram at weatherweb and we're on facebook at weather school and weatherweb.net as well just do a search for those okay hopefully this has been a useful weather school bites for you there'll be another one very very soon don't forget to go to weatherschool.co.uk you can get the books and the dvds from there and check out our courses too thanks for watching keep the sun shining bye for now